Hey, let's play a game today. How about two truths and a lie? All right, first one. One of my favorite colors is being used in our art today. Number two, I'm a classically trained violinist. Number three, I caught my first marlin when I was eight years old. So you tell me what you think is the lie. You can drop it in the comments or I will tell you at the end. Either way, let's have some fun. Now, let's dive in. Hey, Sea Rockers. So today to create our uh, landscape waterscape, we're gonna start with some crackle paste on a 12 inch primed wood round. And this is taped off so that we're just gonna put the crackle paste on the bottom like two thirds of the, uh, of the board. And when this dries, it is gonna give such incredible texture and dimension to this piece. I love crackle paste. And with this Liquitex brand, you want to make sure and put it on nice and thick if you want some of those big chunky cracks. Look at all those awesome cracks. So I'm going to create a glaze using pouring medium and uh, some gold mica powder. And I'm going to thin this down with a little bit of water so that it gets in between all those cracks and gives us some uh, color and shimmer peeking out from below. And here's what it look like dried. And look at all those cracks, all filled with the sparkle and the gold that'll come through. I'm going to take one of my very favorite colors, which is turquoise. And turquoise and gold, I love together. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm actually going to paint this whole thing turquoise, but I'm going to start up here, which would technically be the sky, I guess. And now I'm going to take the uh, turquoise and I'm going to do almost a dry brush on the uh, bottom part here. Now, I don't want to fill in the cracks with the turquoise necessarily. I just want to brush it over the top. Some of the gold will show through uh, and some won't, but it's just going to give a really cool effect. Oh my gosh, look at this incredible color and texture. And do you see that gold peeking out from below? Ugh, I love it. Next, I'm going to move to the sky and I'm going to add some gold leafing to it. But first, I have to put uh, down the adhesive. Now, if I was to do this again, I wouldn't do it as linear as I as it turns out. Um, but anyway, I do like the effect and it was a lot of fun to use. So I'm not sure which is more fun putting that gold leafing down or brushing it off. Either way, that's my next project here is to uh, add the leafing to the adhesive. And once I get that done, then we do the next part, which is make pixie dust. If you're enjoying today's video, I'd appreciate it if you could splash that like button and click the bell so you can get notifications whenever I put out new content. Here we are, next part. <laughs> Making pixie dust by brushing off all the, uh, the, the loose parts of the gold leaf. So see what I mean about it being kind of linear? But anyway, that doesn't matter. So now I'm gonna add a little dimension to it and I'm gonna add some of my next favorite colors with the turquoise, which is kind of a burnt orange and some, um, oh, kind of yellowy orange, brown, white we're gonna use and uh, we're gonna use those blending brushes as well. Now I have a tendency to do my skies very stripy. Uh, because I grew up at the beach and I guess to me, that's how I saw things was kind of stripy. So uh, a lot of times my skies you will see will be stripes of, of color. And I, I guess, you know, it's just my style. Mm -hmm. 
And as important as it is to add color, sometimes it's important to remove color as well. And while we're at it, have you figured out the lie yet? Stay tuned, it's coming at the end. So I'm gonna go ahead and leave the sky alone for now, and I'm gonna move on to the bottom portion of our uh, waterscape here, or landscape. Anyway, I am taking my uh, blender brush or mop brush and I am basically dry brushing again with a darker blue. So now we've got gold and turquoise and this uh, darker blue over the top. And again, favorite color combinations and it should turn out uh, very intriguing. And I'm using waterscape and landscape interchangeably because honestly, it's up to the viewer's creativity or imagination, should I say, uh, and how they want to view this piece. Now you can see I added a little bit of white to the sky and our bottom portion of our waterscape is uh, looking like a, like alligator skin or something like that. Anyway, I'm uh, adding resin to this piece to really make it pop. And of course I'm using art resin. Um, I'm really enjoying using this uh, product and I'm gonna cover the sides and the top. And then I will be doing a second coat as you can see here. And um, then we'll just uh, let that dry and cure and we'll see how it looks. Lastly, don't forget to pop your bubbles with your torch and cover it up for the night. Our finished product is full of contrasting textures and colors. But here is the lie you've been waiting for. I am not a classically trained violinist. Although I did know at one time how to play the violin. But look at these beautiful complementary colors in the sky. The oranges and the gold foil peeking through. Hey, thanks for joining me today and playing the game. I invite you to join the Sea Rucker family. Like, share, and subscribe with your salty friends. Don't forget to check out my website and my other social media platforms. Thanks for watching. Until next time, go beach or go home.